and the moment of truth. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Now look at that. That is real Christmas cake. The smell coming out of here with all that fruit in there is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're making a Christmas cake. We're making a boozy Christmas cake with a load of brandy. There's a brandy on there. And we're going to actually do something a little bit different. We're going to prove that an air fryer can make a Christmas cake. And I'm having my morning coffee. Okay, this is a straightforward cake recipe. Like a conductor. We need a bowl. And what we're going to do is cream our eggs. How we egg? What we're going to do, we're going to cream our butter and our sugar together like we would make a normal um, cake. Now, what I would point out is I don't have mixed spice. We don't have mixed spice, but this is mixed spice. This is my blend. It's a perfect mixed spice for British baking. Perfect for this cake. I'm going to mix it in a bowl and there'll be an ingredient list in the description for English mixed spice. Get that lot in there. Let's just give it a little mix through. That smells like Christmas. That's our mixed spice. So first job then, move all this stuff out of the way. First job, Butter, sugar. Nice and straightforward. In we go. Give it a little scrape down in there. Okay, we're mixing in our eggs now. It does say mixing the eggs a little at a time. So we'll put them all in. I've never mixed in eggs a little at a time ever, to be quite honest. <laughs> Okay, we want the dry ingredients in there. You can sift the flour if you want, that's up to you. In with some salt. Salt to taste. What about half a teaspoon of our mixed spice? Get that in there. About a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. We're adding extra cinnamon, but you know, mixed spice is made up with the biggest majority of the spice is cinnamon. We can throw in our milk, throw in our brandy. I'm going to put a little bit of vanilla in. Precision baking this. I'm going to give it a little whiz with this. Oh. Let's have a little scrape down. Oh man. <laughs> Tastes amazing. Mm. 
Now, if you have treacle, use treacle. I'm using molasses. That's going in there. Just get that in. Nice and steady. Little whiz, not much. I'm just going to put that in there because it's going to be an awful lot harder to stir in with the fruit. Almonds, ground almond, in. Let's have that in there. Little scrape. Done. So that's our mix in there. It might not be a conventional way of baking, but there you go. In with all our mixed fruit. Give it a stir. Oh, the smell. Okay, the tin that we'll be using is a springform tin and it is about eight inches. It's an eight inch tin. So what we gotta do is line it out. So cut yourself a piece of parchment and we're just gonna put a little bit of butter on the bottom of there. Just so it sticks. paper in there obvious reasons why we're putting the paper in it's so we can get the cake out right and we want to line that top there so a bit more butter get your hands in your butter dish just rub a little bit around there that's going to stick our paper Tin lined out. Now we got to get that mix into there. Simple as that. Okay, when we get this in there, I'm going to bob this on. Now I'm using this air fryer oven, you know, 140 degrees this bakes at. We're going to try it at 140 degrees. Want the bake set in 140. We're just going to hit start because we're going to preheat the oven. Cake mix in our tin. Start in the middle and let it naturally push itself out to the size of your paper. Come on, we want all that goodness in there. All of it. Our cake mix, what you can't get in the cake mix, eat. Mm. That is fantastic. We can already tell it's got a decent amount of booze in and it's not overly sweet. And for all those people out there who don't lick the bowl, that's up to you. Okay. Bake setting, we're on bake setting, we're on low. It's been preheating for three minutes. We're gonna get this cake in there. That's going straight in there. And we want the time for about 45 minutes. After 40 minutes, what we'll do is we'll give it a little te test, stick a skewer in if it's browning over the top and looks cooked. Put the skewer in, see if the skewer comes out clean. If it comes out clean, it's cooked, if not, Keep cooking every five to 10 minutes. There we are, job done. Okay, oh, the smell in here is unbelievable. Right, that's at its time, but we need to take it out and test it with a skewer. So let's take it out and see what this looks like. Now you're seeing this for the first time with me. I've never cooked a Christmas cake in here. Let's get that out of there. Oh heck, 
So what we need to be doing is taking a skewer in there and bring it out. It's still wet. It's going to go back in for another 10 minutes. But that is looking sensational. It's probably going to go back in for about another 15 minutes actually. So we'll get that back in there. Another 15 minutes. Right, in it goes. Back on. I'm going to bring the time down to 15. Fifteen minutes, we'll see what happens. It's obviously not going to brown and blacken on the top too much, we hope. It's only 140 degrees and it's on low fan. That's the beauty about this oven, you can have a high and low fan on baking. Okay, here we go. Let's get it out again and we'll have a see what it looks, see if it's uh, clean now on the skewers. I mean, the cake smells and looks absolutely amazing. I mean, come on, look at that. In there, come on. It's going back in for another 15 minutes. Okay, we're going to go for it. Straight in there. Straight in the middle. That is clean. In there. Oh, come on. That is as clean as a whistle. So what we're going to do, we're going to give this about 10 minutes to cool down in that tin. And then we're going to feed the cake. Now if you don't know what feed the cake is, stick around and I'll show you how we feed the cake. What I will say about this air fryer, it is absolutely fantastic. Look at the result there. That's on bake setting for Christmas cake. That is superb. Now there's a link in the description for this air fryer if you are interested in one and I'll tell you there is some offers going around you need to check it out. It's in the description for a high sepientia air fryer. This is a 24 litre air fryer. The results are fantastic. If you've been watching what's going on with this channel over the last few videos we've been using this to bake. I would recommend this air fryer to anyone. Now there's a plug for the air fryer. However, I use it every day, so I will recommend what I use. So check out the description if you're interested. If you're not interested, that doesn't matter. That's a perfect cake baked in the air fryer. That is superb. So 10 minutes, let it cool down. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to do that. Open up our tin. Hoo wee. Take our tin off. And the moment of truth. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Now look at that. That is real Christmas cake. The smell coming out of here with all that fruit in there is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, we're going to leave it on there to go cool, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to feed the cake. Now, to feed the cake, what you would normally do, you would put brandy Okay, so what we would do traditionally, you would take a skewer, you would poke holes in it and you would take some brandy on a spoon and you would just dibble it in to the, the hole and get the brandy in there. 
And that's what you would do normally. Now, for us, we're doing it a little bit different. We're taking the old syringe and a small needle. So there we go. I'm gonna take that brandy out of there. And this is the new modern way. We're gonna put that in there and we're gonna go 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 and that is our cake fed. That is how you feed your cake. Mm -mm, that was nice, fell off. So you either stick the skewer in, tip it in with a spoon, or inject it with a, an injector. <laughs> now all we've got to do now is let this go completely cold and we're going to wrap it in parchment paper and tin foil. Cheers. Okay, so there we are with our Christmas cake. It's gone virtually completely cold. So we need to get that cake off the bottom of that tin. And we're going to put it on some parchment paper. So very carefully, turn over your cake and take off the bottom. And look at that. Oh, 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 oh. oh it smells phenomenal. I mean, that looks superb. And we need some tin foil. So we're going to have a couple of little sheets of tin foil here. Okay, let's just move our cake. Put a little bit of tin foil down. And one the other way, actually. Like that. have our cake on there and all we're doing is we're wrapping it up we go it doesn't look much like a Christmas cake at the moment wrapped up in there but you know we're going to unwrap it every four days. We're going to put a little bit more brandy in and we're going to seal it all back up. In two weeks time, we will put some marzipan on and ice it. And then we'll take a slice of the perfect Christmas cake cooked in the air fryer. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. We'll catch you in the next video.